Okay, so we are unboxing the Paula Young Sierra wig. That's color 101. Very, very excited about this one. This is the Sierra wig and it is in whisper light. Whisper light is about half the length of the diameter of a regular wig from Polly Young, so it feels like a lot less hair. Like I said, this is a brand new style. It just came out. It's long and sleek. It's a modern look with an iconic blunt bang. It's slightly angled in the front and it's got razored ends, so I am really excited to see what this looks like, not only on the wig stand, but also on my head. Of course, I have a pixie cut. You know, you want to change sometimes maybe you want to dress up and go out or you just want something different without having to take a year to grow out your hair wigs are awesome to be able to do that so that's why I like wigs I like changing it up every now and then and it gives a completely different look okay so let's open this up so this color 101 is a platinum color it is basically a cool blonde. It's very soft right off the bat. It feels very, very soft. Oh my goodness. This is longer than I expected. This is so, so pretty. Let's put this on the wig stand here. So you can see the bangs. I really like these bangs, but that is a blunt bang. And look at all the layers in this hair. They're like choppy layers with the razored ends. Let's look at the back. The hair is really soft. That is what I noticed right off the bat. I can really tell a difference between the whisper light and the non-whisper light, but this hair is just so silky. I am impressed with this wig. And look at the blunt ends here, beautiful. So, without further ado, let's go try this on. Okay, you might be wondering, boy, she sure looks different in her bathroom as compared to the previous clip. And I just wanna say, there's been a couple weeks between the time at my mom's house and today. I got a haircut in between and my actual hair looks different. So here I am, I'm going to be kind of looking at this Sierra wig in detail. And here it is. Just a reminder, this is the A2803 Sierra wig color 101. And you can tell, gosh, how pretty this is. And I'm gonna look like a complete different person when I put this on. But a couple things I wanted to show you guys before I put this on here. So here's the picture of what the Sierra wig looks like in a different color. And it's got those really cool blunt ends. And this is a whisper light, so it's very, very light. And the hair doesn't feel very heavy. Out of all of the Polly Young wigs, and my mom wears a few from Polly Young, the whisper lights definitely are more her style because it feels like it's less hair that you have to deal with, like less bulky hair. So here is kind of how they describe this wig. It's got smooth, straight layers with razor finished ends. They fall past the shoulders to the upper back in this sleek chick long wig. The full sides effortlessly frame the face and neck and the blunt lash giving bangs complete the feminine look with a flattering finish. Super light, baby fine, Kana Kalon whisper light fibers make the wig so comfortable and lightweight you won't even feel like you're wearing it. It's got an open cap construction, so let's look at this. This creates a light, airy feel for maximum comfort. It also has the open ear tabs, and these are helpful to know, first of all, do you have your wig on correctly? And secondly, you can actually put your glasses through these so that your glasses have somewhere to go. All right, so here goes. Let's try this out. Now, I'm not even gonna use a cap today. I'm just gonna put this on over my natural hair. Oh, by the way, I did wanna call out that this particular wig has only only just a few slight areas of machine teasing right here. It helps you get some body over it so you can kind of style the wig and comb over that machine teasing to create more body. All right, let's try this out. So I'm gonna turn it completely inside out and I'm also going to comb my hair back. Now, if you have long hair, then I would suggest pulling your hair back into maybe a ponytail or tucking it up in there or wearing a cap. We're gonna see if I can do this without having to wear a cap. So I like to get the very front of the wig and put it up at the top of my head and then I'm gonna just throw it on. So this is where I'm gonna look for these ear tabs, right here and right here. 
to make sure that I've got this all in the right place. I'm gonna slide it back a little bit. You want to not have it like shifted forward so it really looks like a wig. Obviously this looks like a wig right now, but I'm gonna get it to where it doesn't. This is actually a little wig brush that I got from Amazon. I like that it's a side part. These bangs are slightly too long for me, but the cool thing about wigs is you can cut them or you can take them to a beauty salon and get them cut. You don't have to just live with a length that you might not be terribly happy with. So I've got some of my regular bangs going up in here and I'm gonna just tuck them under. So what I'm struggling with now is trying to find out where this part is. Kind of seems like based on the picture that the part is not on the side, it's right here. So the other thing I wanted to mention was, do you see how shiny this wig is? When you first get a wig, what you can do is use some wig shampoo. So I haven't washed this one yet, but what it'll do is it'll kind of make it a little duller. There's all sorts the stuff you can do. You can use some matte hairspray that will take the shine down because the shine can sometimes give away that you're actually wearing a wig. All right, so let's take a look at this. It's really pretty. Look at the ends here. This is one of those wigs too. You could put a low ponytail in the back to hold it back, but let me show you the full side profile. Okay, so this is the front. I'm really liking the razor edges. I think they're really, really cute. Y'all, I have not had hair this long since I was like a teenager. This definitely feels different for me. This is actually my mom's wig and what she was gonna do is cut a few inches off of this wig and kind of follow kind of the same style of the bottom. But I think she was interested in bringing it up to about here. You know, it feels like you're really not even wearing a wig other than just, you know, you feel it on your head but it doesn't feel like other wigs as much. I also think the hair is light enough that that's what's helping it not feel like you have this heavy thing on top of your head. But what do you guys think? This is definitely a different look for me. It probably makes me look slightly younger. What do you guys think? Of course, I've worn this color quite frequently with, you know, dyeing my natural hair, but now my natural hair has been all grown out. So this reminds me of the look that I used to have when I had a pixie cut with platinum hair, but I personally love this color. I'm a fan of platinum hair. This particular color is not very yellow. It's a very cool platinum color, but I really like it. I like this wig. What do you guys think? This is the brand new Sierra wig from Paul Young. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you think of this particular wig. And if there's other Paula Young wigs or other brands that you'd like me to try, let me know and comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.